Starship's future while prepping for its first launch attempt, and Relativity Space does the same with their 3D printed rocket. There's lots to go over this week, so let's get going. This is the Space Race. We haven't heard much about NASA's Gateway Lunar Space Station program for almost two years now, not since the agency started delaying its launch contracts with rocket services provider SpaceX back in April of 2021. NASA had originally awarded the contract to deliver cargo to the new space station in orbit around the moon back in 2020. SpaceX beat out several big-name competitors like Boeing and Northrop Grumman, but haven't made much news since then. The Lunar Gateway project intends on using international and commercial partnerships to create a new space station in lunar orbit. This station is meant to not just be a hub for upcoming lunar activity like the Artemis program, but also to serve as a jumping off point for missions as far away as Mars and beyond. Getting almost anywhere else in the solar system is relatively easy compared to escaping Earth's atmosphere. If we had a refueling depot in space, missions would suddenly find themselves without the need to carry so much fuel into orbit. It's a literal gateway to the rest of our solar system. The station is planned as the linchpin of space operations for the next decade at least, with small habitation modules, linkages for cargo and personal transfer vehicles, lunar landers, and refueling. It even has its own solar electric propulsion module, and all of these pieces are planned to be launched in a series of well-planned out missions intending to precede the first Artemis moon landing missions. But why would NASA seem to be sidelining such an important program? Artemis for the first Artemis mission planning to make use of the Gateway is scheduled for 2027, which doesn't leave a lot of wiggle room for accidents or mistakes. However, according to Mark Weiss, NASA's manager of deep space logistics for the Gateway program, it only seems like NASA hasn't been working on Gateway. Weiss spoke at the Spacecom conference on February 22nd and said that NASA and Space